Good morning. It's my last day of holiday on this week off, so I thought I'd do a quick while it's um, relatively organised and show you how I've now got the unit sort of organised. So I sorted through the books that I had yesterday, had about another 500. Uh, took a bit longer, but I am getting them into their piles of genres now, so it should make it easier to then list. So we've got basically here, these are the ones that are due to go to FBA. Quite a few piles there. I've still got a good few piles at home as well of um, like science and maths books from when I was studying that need to um, need to go as well. Uh, these I still need to sort through, but there's bits like this. Some of the bundles I'm doing, Daniel Steel bundle. There's, you see, there's a there's a few there all together. Um, a Catherine Cookson bundle, stuff like that. But what we've got basically going on over here, up here is fiction. I think mostly women's fiction. Ignore the Jeffrey Archer. That's a that's a bundle ready to go. Um, on this shelf is bundles ready to list. So you got a Ken Follett, a Jack Higgins, um, Alexander McCall Smith, Bill Bryson, a few of the Trini and Susanna stuff. There's. Um, just a complete mix and match. Game of Thrones, a couple of cocktails, Tony Parsons, Twilight ones at the back there. Who doesn't love a bit of Twilight, eh? Um, on this one below, we get to more women's books, which is, um, there's a thing to do with like pregnancy, relationships, um, a bit like detox, beauty, body care, stuff like that. Um, and these need to be made into, into bundles. But now when I'm scanning through, if it doesn't go in the FBA pile and it's, you know, this, if it's a detox book, I can put it straight in there. Uh, down here is military. We've got a lot of different ones in there from McNabb and stuff like that. Um, fiction, there's a lot of Tom Clancy ones at the back. Um, to a lot of the uh, ones like Berlin there, another Churchill one, Churchill bundle sold recently. Um, Vietnam history, Royal British Legion, but it's good to... Um, you know, again, they need they need sorting through. I've got some piles around here. Um, basically, the, you know, let me go through the shelves first. Over here, then, I've got um, like educational um, and learning, adult learning stuff like that. Even like GCSE books, a lot of them are worthless. Some of the thicker ones I showed you in the other video are good. They can get sent into FBA. Some of the thicker maths ones. Um, these here, you got things like dictionaries. Um, Language, learning languages, stuff like that. Introduction to language, phonetics and phonology. Things like that. Um, some of the real old ones, progress in geography. I've noticed some vintage um, study books go, like old biology books from the 70s and stuff like that, where you think they're really out of date. I think the newer stuff and the really older stuff tends to sell better than the medium age stuff. But we'll see. Uh, now here, it's gardening. And plants and stuff like that. Of course, it's filled up with Titchmarsh, who's everywhere. Um, put a pile of Gardener's World magazines. You can just chuck them on in, in a one-er. Uh, and a few here that don't fit on the shelf now. Cooking is the next. The, these two shelves here are all cooking. And this whole pile here. And the bottom shelf down there. Um, cookery books are everywhere. But they do sell as well. I've sold, I'll try and do, when I get um, some screen recording software set up properly, I just haven't had time, I've been trying to get all this done, I'll try and do a video of some of the ones that have sold, and there's like little ones of um, Mediterranean style cooking, like a set of three, you know, not they're not a, a designated set together, um, but just, you know, three of that sort of um, style of recipes and stuff like that, so although the cookbooks are everywhere, they hopefully will keep selling. Um, here we've got some travel books. So we've got some Michael Palin, but then things like Fiona Campbell, who's a, a little bit older. Um, I remember her now. Castaway, and just yeah, around the world in 80 days, back from Africa, um, some bits and bobs like that. Up here, I think this is like art. It's a bit of photography. It's like art and crafts and hobbies sort of thing. Um, obviously, I can't have set that many set areas because I don't have the space, but 
there's like some good photography here, digital photography books, practical composition, practical exposure and photography. There we go as like a little bundle, something like that. So we've got a photographer, a lot of like um, patchwork, quilting, stuff like that, and some drawing, um, bits like that. There's a few more down here that don't fit on the shelf now. Some knitting and curtain ones, quilting and patchwork and a pleat. So it all depends, you know. Again, I need to I need to learn about what goes um, up here. I think there's a few extra there, flower arranging and stuff, and then some autobiographies which are pretty much worthless. But I kept some that are like music based. Rolling Stones, Robbie Williams, Alex James, uh, Guns and Roses, Take That, Bob Dylan, and then some sport ones as well. Because um, I don't know, we'll see if people like them. Uh, here is like TV and film. So there's a lot of things, Big Brother, not that anyone's going to want a book about Big Brother, but someone might, you know, Partridge, Father Ted, Blackadder, N-Dub, stuff like that, Piers Morgan, The Archers, a couple of One Direction ones, Bond, Mad Men, Top Movies, stuff like that, a couple of Stephen Fry, Boris Johnson, Boris Johnson could go under politics, I suppose, I think it's because if I got views for you, I put it under TV when I was sorting it, um, and then basically down here, We've got um, over here. We've got some like sci-fi books, the Sarah Waters one and stuff. It's like sci-fi and fantasy are down there. I think there's a pile here. Yeah, there's like sci-fi um, and fantasy stuff like that. Bundle of poem books, stuff like that. Um, Harry Potter par, which isn't many to be fair. Um, computer books, a couple of um, dummies books in there for computer programming. They don't tend to be great sellers. Um, a history pile, working life in Britain, that's quite a big pile. The sport pile is quite big. There's a few like F1 books, stuff like that. Touching greatness, a few runners ones. Um, NFL, record fact book, running made easy. Um, cricket, I seem to get quite a lot of cricket books. they got the Dickie Bird and Richie Bernard, is it? Autobiographies. So you maybe put that in a bundle with complete who's who of Tesco, you know, things like that. Just see what see what works, see what sells. Um, royal family. A lot of Diana and Queen Mother stuff. I know there is a market for royal stuff, whether you know again whether it goes, I don't know. Um politics. So we've got a few Tory books. Um Tony Blair one about the Bush family, Nelson Mandela. These were um some that I just sorted through yesterday, set of 50 shades, what can go, sequence dancing, a couple of Rudyard Kipling, selected poetry, selected stories, and these are the sort of bundles that I'll just put together, Annie Murray, they're all quite tidy, um, Brian Jacks, never heard of him, it's like fantasy sort of books again, but there's a good maybe 10 of those, Nora Roberts, who I didn't know before, and these are quite worn as well, but I had um I was looking, researching the women's fiction that had sold and saw Nora Roberts and I thought, oh, I get a few of them. So I made a bundle with, I think, 11 of them and they sold within a couple of days for about 12 99 and it's only, what, four quid to post, I think, or something like that. Maybe six pounds to post if it was over the two kilogram of Hermes. So, you know, you could make a 50p a pound a book after postage um, and when you're buying them as cheap as I get them at the minute, it's um, it's good. I've got a whole load of the Lonely Planet books. As I said in the other videos, a couple of them are worth some money. Most of these aren't. I'll just keep these tucked away. I don't think anyone's going to want a massive bundle. I'll maybe try and do a whole box of them and see if they can go for a few quid in the future. But at the minute, I've got a bit of space to store them. What I've seen um, sales is the just big boxes of maybe 100 or so fiction books. As long as they're decent condition like these, and some of these are, are, you know, tidy. And they've gone for, I think, 34 99 ish something like that. So when you're looking at £15, sorry, £10 postage with um, with Hermes for up to 15 kilograms, if I could fill one of these boxes up to 15 kilograms, I'm probably only looking at more towards 50-odd books, I think. But, um, you know, even if you can get a tenner for them, it's better than chucking it in the recycling, as long as your postage and your costs are covered getting some money back it doesn't take long just to pile a load into into a box you know and uh and chuck it up um so that's about it i've got um the man pile 
some other part. I've got loads of these maps as well, actually, that I keep getting. They'll go up. The man pile, which is just uh, like hobbies and stuff like that. And other things, obviously, like I said, I couldn't have too many piles, so you've got to be about speed boats. Nice little bundle I'm going to make here about keeping chickens. Chicken runs, keeping chickens, choosing and keeping chickens. They could just go as a nice bundle. And things like cars, DIY, aeroplanes, things like that. So I need to find an area for these. I got this, Ian Holloway. It's signed. Um, obviously, it's a big Bristol Rovers city being in Bristol. And he was Bristol Rovers manager. He signed it. But he's written, come on the Green Army. And he's done two Ben. So I need to find. Well, I don't need to, but I did just message a lad on Facebook. Green Army is Plymouth from where he was Plymouth manager. So I went on the Plymouth site quickly um, on the Facebook page. Just looked at the last few posts and who had liked it. And there was a lad there um, called Ben. So I messaged him quickly and just said, strange question. Do you like Ian Holloway? If he comes back and says, yeah, then... Um, then I'll send that to him because it's personalised to a Plymouth fan called Ben. Otherwise, I'll just chuck it on eBay. I'm sure it won't get that much, but I thought it'd be better if I can find a Plymouth fan called Ben that can uh, have it. So that's about it. I've got um, some old business and investment books over here. Um, there's not too many of them. Most of business investment books go to eBay, uh, go to FBA, sorry. Here I've got some of my Merchant Fulfilled ones. Um, what I do with the skews is, like that shelf is 1A, so when I do the skew, some people do a real detailed skew, and they'll have the date they bought it, the place they bought it, the price they paid, and I, that's just not me. Um, when I've got a minimum price of 6 99 for books, apart from the odd one that might have Amazon selling it new for a bit less, then I'll chuck it in just below that. Um, I don't need to have massive detailed records of the prices of individual books it just take me too long so when it comes to merchant fulfilling i got these ones over here the brown the brown shelf the pile on top and these ones here they um they've got a amazon generated skew from where i just started merchant fulfilling just a handful so now when they sell if it's got a standard skew i know it'll be in in these these piles and then now any that i'm doing because i'm going to start looking at doing merchant fulfilling a lot more all I'll do is for the skew is I'll write this is uh this top shelf will be one A, one B, one C, and then over here is two A, and down there will be two B, two C. So I just do one A, and then a load of dashes, and then just some gobbledygook. Press any keys, and that'll uh. So then as soon as it as soon as it sells, it'll just come up. I can just look at straight the first two. Do it's one A, and I know that it's on that shelf, and it's not going to take me long to find it. And I don't need to know the individual price of any book. If I'm out buying, even if I'm out buying in the shop, scanning off the shelves and paying a pound or a pound fifty a book, you know, I'm still going to make money with the minimum price of six ninety nine. I'm not going to buy a book at that price from the shelves if Amazon are selling it new for three eighty five or five pounds, something like that. Um, the ones I get here in the bulk, I can send in if Amazon are selling it five pound new because I've only paid the six p for it. Um, so that's what I'm doing with that. There's all the soft toys. I've got loads more bags of soft toys. Um, I think these are a lot of bags, of smaller ones. I don't recognise any of these. I did see a Tigger. There's a Tigger in there. Um, and Peppa Pig. But yeah, you know, I got these for free again. They said still... Uh, I've still got some more books to sort there. Well, they said uh, the other day, when I was there yesterday... They said, how am I getting on with them? I said, I haven't even opened the bags yet. And they said, right, well, I'll just have these free again. And uh, and then if I can sell them, you know, I can buy them for 50p a bag. So I'll go through them. I'll maybe try and take out a few of the more valuable ones or some that look all right. Again, I don't know anything about plushes. Um, I might send a couple of photos to a couple of people, put them up on the group, see if I can maybe get some help. But... Um, Otherwise, I know there's a people around the corner that buy um buy the bag for their dog because their dog goes through them. It's a little staffy, so uh, likes chewing up toys. Uh, we'll maybe get rid of some to them, but we'll see. That's uh that's not important right now. Right now, I need to start working through these piles here and get some of these up onto here because these are the bundles that are listed, which isn't many. 
and I've got a pile up here. These ones have sold. Not Neil Asher, Alistair Reynolds. These have sold this morning. So I um, need to get these out. And these are just normal sci fi. It's just normal sci fi books. They've already got this nice shiny cover, but they're all decent condition as well. And I don't know what they sold for. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's probably four quid. Probably would have been about um, eight ninety nine or nine ninety nine, something like that. I think. But yeah, that's about it. Um, that's the unit. I've still got the carnage to sort out, which is the children's books here, which are getting stupidly big. I cleared a few of the electronics, one of which was an old Roberts radio that sold, and I've got the other ones you saw on the shelf. Um, one of them's a really good. One of them's a really good piece, which is oh, oh it's down the bottom now. You can't see it there. It's a Panasonic DVD recorder and VHS. I think it records VHS onto DVD, which is why it's such a wanted item. Um, they're going for like 260 quid new, over 100 pounds second hand, and there's no remote control or anything with it. But I've put it up. For an auction to end Sunday, and it's up to about fifty quid, I think already. So that that'll be all right. I think I've done free posts on that because it looked like it was in demand. Um, yeah, I need to sort through some of this. I've still got these shelvings here, which is books to either go on eBay, some of the older style, like I said the other day, or some of these newer ones that can, um, you know, the highly ranked books. You know, I think that one was about seventeen, eighteen pound, but ranked at, you know, a few million. So. They'll go merchant fulfilled and then we'll see what to have. Might have lists as like the kids corner and try and just get this organized. Um, maybe get the shelving put back against that wall. I don't know yet. This is the this is the pile of shame. This is the, the dumping corner at the moment. Um, just stuck with more boxes and envelopes and stuff like that. So yeah, the, the plan today, clear some of this pile, clear some of these piles, get it listed up onto there. And uh and go from there and take advantage of the last day off from work before I'm back on Sunday night. Got some games there that can go on eBay. Go for Broke Monopoly, Race Night, really nasty golf game. I guess who? A couple of Fifty Shades. Fifty Shades are everywhere. Uh, this was a really good one, actually. Fast Boats and Flying Boats. Biography of Hubert Scott Payne. This was up for, I think, £60 or £80 on Amazon. So, yeah, that paid for everything basically um, there's only one other that's the only one that was up there as well it's not like um, it's not like there's lots of them that's the only one and it's ranked 1.1 million so it sold not too long ago I'm hoping that it was around that price but yeah I'll check it up and let's see what happens anyway I get back to it any questions or comments let me know please like and share it let someone uh, uh, if you think this will benefit someone send it to them or send them my way um, I'll link up to my blog down below where I'll try and update as I can sometimes it'll be little short posts but sometimes it'll be a, a longer post but yeah let me know if you want me to talk about anything and until then uh, have a good day everyone cheers